So for a while, green shine Pokemon were one of the amongst the hated types of shiny Pokemon. Mainly due to how ugly a lot of them look to fans, but over time, I'm wondering to myself, are they really that bad? In today's video, I'll go over why green shiny Pokemon are hated, go over green shiny Pokemon that aren't as bad as people say, and show everyone why green shiny Pokemon are underrated. Now of course, I won't be going over every green shiny Pokemon, as some of them are just actually really bad or a missed opportunity or just already green. Just the ones that are over hated but secretly very good shiny Pokemon. In generation 1, we have Dragonite. I don't know why people don't like this shiny Pokemon. Hell, it was a freebie in the black and white 2 games. The shading of green they used on it isn't even that bad too. I've seen multiple people try to fix shiny Dragonite by making it pink, but it's kinda shit compared to the original. Probably a shade of purple with green wings would probably look better, but I like this shiny a lot. He looks like a Yoshi. Another good green shiny is Jolteon. It's a Pokemon that actually fits the, the lime green well, as well as the purple accent it has, simply making it better overall. Now here's an interesting shiny I like, and that's Tauros. I liked Tauros' shiny up to Gen 6. Why? Well, it looked like a can of Sprite. Lastly is shiny Zubat and Golbat. Green was one of the few colors that works when converted to shiny. I personally like shiny Zubat more due to the color of its underwing and being suited better for a cave decor. Now generation 2 will have some hot takes so be rare. A shiny I really like is Espeon. It's one of those shinies that turned to pink to green, but no one really likes Espeon for some reason but I do. I really can't describe why it's so good, but it just works. It's another extremely hot take is Shiny Stantler. PLA made me appreciate this line as it's pretty interesting how a Pokemon like this turns into a lime green. While I didn't like it before, I like it now. Shiny Earthstring is one that PLA made me appreciate as well. I think green is a nice color on it and I don't really think there's any other color that would work with it. I wish it was a darker shade of green though, but the one we have now is good enough. Finally for generation 2, we have Scizor. I really don't understand how people do not like this guy. Scizor is part bug type and this color really fits well with this part bug typing because this Pokemon is basically Iron Man but for the bug types. So I guess people were expecting a really cool color scheme, maybe like a gold color, you know, something like that. But I think the shiny it has now is perfect and it gets even better in the later generations. An honorable mention goes to this green Azumarill from Exine Coliseum. I don't necessarily like nor dislike it, but the golden Azumarill we have today is just better in my opinion. The only green shiny Pokemon that was introduced that people don't like for some reason is Salamence. This guy is so cool! Hell, there was a time I played through a Generation 5 game and replayed with a shiny Salamence because I thought he was really cool. Personally, I think the green and orange go extremely well together, and while in the earlier generations the change was just blue to green, in Generation 5 they changed the wings to red so it changed from blue to red to green and orange, which was a massive W, especially if you have Mega Salamence. Now, Gen 9, they changed the wings on the shiny from orange to a reddish orange, which is a nice change and a nice mixture of complementary colors. Another honorable mention goes to Shiny Swallow. It's like Shiny Salamence, but people actually like this one. Gee, I wonder why. Gen 4 is a weird case, because I don't think there's any green shiny no one dislikes, except for this guy. But I'll give an honorable mention to Dialga. I initially didn't like shiny Dialga as I thought the color scheme was hideous to my eyes. But once I got one for my own, I've appreciated it more. And this guy is hell of a lot better than shiny Palkia. Now before I continue with this video, why not subscribing? If you're currently enjoying the video, subscribe. It's that simple. My goal is to have 1000 subscribers every week and I'm trying to upload every Friday if I can. So if you'd subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Now back to the video. Now we get to Generation 5, and there are real and more than one candidates here. First, we have Shiny Tranquil. 
I'm sorry guys, but if you mix green and purple on something, I'm bound to like it. Next we have Shiny Scrafty. A lot of people don't like this shiny. I can see why, but here's why I like it. He's a hoodlum, right? His shiny reminds me of a hoodlum doing spray paint. How can you not love that? I can defend this guy for hours, but that's a different video. Shiny Dredigan is like shiny Salamence with the same color scheme, but it's just better for some reason. Finally, we have Shiny High Dragon. Now, I really don't understand why people don't like this one. It's shiny is literally green goblin colors and pulls off the green and purple way better than dragon I could. He's literally made for those colors. You fuckers really are blinded by hitting green shiny Pokemon by default and can't appreciate the actual good ones. Unfortunate. Generation 6 have green shiny Pokemon? But people actually like them, so I won't go for Gen 6. We do have one for Generation 7 though, and that's Pukumuku. I like this one. This time, this one is green, and it has a slight shade of yellow. Which is kind of new, but still looks great. As for Generation 8 though, yeah, there are, you know, green shiny Pokemon, but, you know, people actually like those ones too. Finally, we have Gen 9's Low Kicks. Like Shiny Scizor, this one looks like an actual bug, and like I said, I love it when a Shiny expresses their other typing. It just works so well. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, are why green Shiny Pokemon are underrated. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.